Hello everybody, I'm your friend and both Let's Players Smart Wanna welcome you back to Let's Play Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis. As we left off, we got ourselves the Sunstone, and now we're gonna continue our adventures of finding the other stones as well. So let's get out of here. No need to be in Algiers anymore. So we're gonna go back. Wait for me! Sure. So we're gonna go. No, actually, no need to be in Monte Carlo. I mixed places up. Algiers is the place where we need to go. Going back to the uh, merchant that we saw, as she just suggested that we should go back and see if he has more information. Cool music. If you can hear it. There you are, Omar. Excuse me again. Yes? I'm really interested in Atlantis. And I really need some reason to take you seriously. Well, I got the sunstone now. I've got this stone. Stone, you say? Yep. Let's see. Sure. Here it is. Take a look. Yeah, wave it ah, around like a biscuit. A sunstone, if I'm not mistaken. Y yes. And the most stupendous find. How did you know it's a sunstone? Dr. Jones. How did you know? How I'm... do you know who I am? Yeah. Yeah, how? Yeah. My dear Miss Hapgood, when you're Omar Al-Jabbar, you know these things. Oh, you need to know then these you things. you are Al-Jabbar. Yeah. Yes, a lowly dealer in oddities and trinkets at your service. Your, the um, thanks, I Let's guess? Let's get out of business, shall we? Mm -hmm. What do you know about Atlantis? Do tell. Yes, tell us. Oh, shut up, Sophia. Well, somewhere deep in the Atlas Mountains, there's an archaeological dig site. Uh-huh. Atlas Mountains. That's in... I'm convinced it contains the remains of an Atlantean outpost. The Atlas Mountains are in Greece, right? Whose dig is it? Sternhardt. Europeans. Germans, oh, I believe. Oh, Nazis. What makes you so sure it's Atlantean? Yeah. From time to time, scoundrels appear in my shop to trade pieces they stole there. Mm -hmm. The designs are unmistakable. Mm. Can Where we see those? Exactly? I'm not exactly sure. I've learned enough to make a rough map, but it's very rough. Can I have it? The problem is, the desert is no place for a civilized man like myself. Yeah, sure, you're civilized, all right. We'll go. Yeah. We will? Yeah. I admire your courage, but you'll never survive the desert. No, oh, trust me, I can survive the Give desert. Up while you still have your lives ahead of you. I just played the Quest for Glory 2 through. I can survive. We'll never give up. Yeah. Well then, let it be as God wills it. Come, I'll lend you my map. Indiana and a couple of sturdy camels. Indiana Jones doesn't know how to quit. Or maybe he does, but he just ignores it. You know, does he ever give up in the movies? No, because he's Indiana Jones. He never loses hope. He never loses his dreams of finding stuff. Once he has his mind on business, he will do the business as best as he can. A few hours later. I guess it didn't work. Because we never got to see the camels. Which is a shame. Camels are cool looking. They're kind of dorky. Derpy. You've returned alive. Tell me, how was your trip? It was awful, I guess. Marvelous, but we didn't find anything. The desert guards its secrets, Doctor. By the way, do you still have that mask I gave you? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I've got it right here. Why do you ask? I'd like to trade you for it. Trade what? Will you give me? That depends. Do you have anything in mind? A better map. Offer. Well, how about... This baseball? It's been autographed by your country's Luke Gehrig. No, thanks. No, thanks. Can I see something else? How about... 
This voodoo doll, it was cut from trees in the Black Forest. No, I don't think so. There is an item that we do need from him, but it's not that. No thanks. Can I see something else? Better give me a How better offer. This little red wagon, it once belonged to Rudyard Kipling. No thanks. Well, that doesn't appeal to me. What else have you got? If anything. How about this yellow yo-yo? It was hand-painted by an Arabian princess. I'm not interested in yo-yos. I'll take the uh, falcon, the black falcon here. I think it's uh, supposed to be a raven, I guess. Or a falcon. I'm not sure. Looks like a black toucan, actually. That sounds pretty awful. Have got you got anything else? How about... This beautiful white cane, it was once touched by Queen Victoria. Mm, no, I don't think so. I don't think that's it. What else can you show me? If anything. How about these charming shaded spectacles? With these, a man can stare straight at the sun. Well, I guess that's cool and everything, but... Uh, that sounds pretty awful. Have you got anything else? No need for sunglasses here. How about... This handsome red fez? No gentleman should be seen without one. No. Indy doesn't look good with a fez, I'm sure. Neither would Sophia. That sounds pretty awful. Have you got anything else? Come on, give me How something. This antique brass spittoon? With it a man may spit like a camel in the privacy of his own home. That is disgusting. Why did you even suggest that? That sounds pretty awful. Have it you got does. anything else? How about this lovely bar of soap? It's 99 and 94 100% pure. That's pretty damn pure soap, all right. Hmm. I guess I could take it. I'll take it. You've made a good exchange, Effendi. So now we got a bar of soap. Phew, this soap smells like garlic. So it's made of garlic? Didn't know that you can make soap out of garlic. And he said it's 99.94% pure. So I guess the uh, Im impure part, the 0 0.06, is garlic? That doesn't make any sense. I don't want to disturb them. They look kind of busy. Can I talk to you? Maybe you can help me out Hello here. There. Back again, eh? Yep. How's business? I've seen worse. Today I'm offering a discount. Give me food and I'll give you a free gift. Now, let me get back to work, please. I don't have any food. But maybe I can get some food, because there is a grocer here. So let's talk to the grocer. Excuse me. Yes? What looks good today? Today we have a special squab on a stick, only 20 dinars. Hmm, 20 dinars. That sounds familiar. Like I said, I just played the uh, Quest for Glory 2 through, so... Dinars is a very good uh, account, uh, the, the currency for me. Very familiar after playing that game. Do you accept US currency? Sorry, no. How about an exchange? Well, a squab would sure hit this spot. Yeah, definitely. Twenty dinars, if any. Maybe we can make a deal. What kind of deal? Let's see, a squab for this bar of soap. What do you say? Squab for this bar of soap, what do you say? Hmm, hmm. I'm afraid I cannot make that trade, if any. Darn it. But it does remind me to get a gift for my mother-in-law. <laughs> I guess she smells. I've got another offer. Make it. How about the knife? I'll trade this beautiful knife for a squab. I already have several of those knives. The knife thrower has notoriously bad aim. Well, he did well before. When I put Sophia as a volunteer. I've got another offer. Make it. I'll give you my fine leather jacket for a squab. In this heat, don't be absurd. Oh, come on, it's uh, very comfortable and also very I've airy. Another offer. Breathe. Make you know. I'll give you my Atlantean sunstone for a squab. 
What do you take me for offering me some worthless hunk of rock? It's not worthless. It's not rock. Don't go away. I'll get back to you. It is a, you know, a hard stone. You don't see those every day. Do you? Okay, so the bar of it wasn't the answer. I really don't remember what the answer is here, but... Excuse uh, me again. Yes? We'll keep on trying. Can I trade my soap for something else? Do you have anything in mind? I'm looking for a gift for an older woman. Anything else? Make an offer. Well, how about... This decorative black veil, it goes with anything. I guess that could work. I'll take it. You've made a good exchange, Offendi. I hope so. I, I, seriously, I do not remember what I need to give to the grocer, but we'll try. So I can move along in the game. We need to do this. Excuse me. So we can get the free gift. Yes. I'd like to make another squab offer. I'm listening. Would you trade me a squab for this black veil? Hmm. Hmm. I'm afraid I cannot make that trade, Defendi. It just doesn't work with the colors of my house. Darn it. Pull the squab. I'll be back later. Come on, black goes with everything. 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 There is not a color that doesn't work with black. Excuse me again. Even brown goes well with black. Yes. Can I trade my veil for something else? I guess the guy's color blind. Do you or have something. anything in mind? Well, I have anything. I'm looking for a gift for an older woman. Yeah. Anything else? Why can't you just give me something that goes Make with, an offer. goes for an older woman? Well, how about this dark red lipstick? It's chic yet dignified. Lipstick, I don't think so. Well, that doesn't appeal to me. What else have you got? It's Mother. It was Mother's Day it? yesterday, so. This yellow scarf, it's a bit dowdy, but comfortable. Hmm. A scarf. That'll work. I'll take it. You've made a good exchange, Offendi. There is not a lady around who wouldn't like to have a scarf, especially when it's yellow. Although, not all people like yellow color. So I have to be Excuse careful me. about that. Maybe this will yeah. go well with your house. Instead of black, here. I'd like to make another squab offer. Ask something yellow. I'm listening. You have a yellow robe yourself. If you give me a squab, I'll give you my yellow scarf. Hmm. Hmm. I'm afraid I cannot make that. It just doesn't work. Pull the squab. Uh, what color is your house, then? Pink? Green? Worst colors of a house, if you ask me. Excuse me again. Yes. Can I trade my? Do you have any? Yes, I'm looking, I'm for, looking a for a gift. Anything? Blah blah blah. I'm, I'm just offer. skipping well, all how this. How about this lovely bar of soap? It's ninety-nine and ninety-four, one hundred. No, I already gave that back to you. No. Th how about this decorative? I guess it's the lipstick then. I don't think. How about this dark? I'll take it. You've made it. Thanks. I guess the lipstick is the answer. I wish I I was sure that Excuse the soap me. would be, be the answer, but yes. I guess it was just just a joke. I'd like to make another squab offer. I'm listening. I'll give you my dark red lipstick for one of your squabs. Hmm. Hmm. Say yes. This is perfect gift for my mother. Thank you. And it's so color coordinated. So you like red? Here, have a squab. Thank you. Didn't the game just play the uh, Indiana Jones music there? That was kind of cool. So we got a squab on a stick. Squab, huh? <laughs> looks like a barbecued pigeon. Definitely looks like that. Hello there. Back again, eh? Yep, we got food. How's business? I've seen him. Today I'm off. Now, let me get back to work. Okay, so here, I'm a squab and a stick. Excuse me. You bring food? Yep. Here. Thank you, Effendi. You're welcome. Here's your free gift. Awesome. So, what did I get? 
It says one day pass Kareem sightseeing tours. Ah, it's for this place here, as we saw. It says aerial views, one flight up. Yep. We got a free ticket for the balloon. So we can take the balloon and use it for ourselves. Mm, the only mark on this map is one big X. Yeah, you remember, Indy, X marks the spot. From last crusade, right? Right. So let's go get ourselves a balloon ride. Hello there. If you have ticket, you see sights. If not, you don't. Well, you're at least blunt, but efficient. We got the ticket, so let's go. Will this do? A valuable all-day pass. Today the skies are yours, Defendi. Hooray! Looks like it's ready to go. All we need to do is step in. Like that. But it's stuck on a rope, it appears. But good thing we got a gun a dagger, so let's use it. We're <laughs> free! We stole your balloon. I am a nice guy, aren't I? So. Now we got the balloon, so we can go around and check if we can find the uh, uh, location. And there's a, you can always go to these nomad camps around. They will tell you, give you some hints on where the uh, camp might be. And I do mean the uh, Nazi camp. Now landing this uh, balloon can be a bitch sometimes. But it's not, it's not too difficult. You just have to know where to aim. And I didn't even get close enough to Aren't you. Are you coming? I'll stay here and watch the balloon. Yeah, you do that. I didn't even get close to the uh, freaking nomad camp. Like I said, landing this thing can be a bitch. Because you cannot really always know what height it will be where it lands. But I do know now, so... Let's land this right here. Excellent. Stay here and guard the balloon. So now we can go to the Nomad here and ask him for directions. If he's seen any heavy vehicles or anything going Hello by. There. Salam, Effendi. Salam alaikum. What do you make of this map? Hmm. This X is to the south. And slightly to the east. So, Thanks for the information. So pretty much I have to go to east a little bit and then south. She's too far away. I didn't want to talk to Sophia. I wanted to use the balloon, Indy. And besides, you can always walk over to her if you wanted to talk to her. Listen. What? Kind of barren and lifeless out there, huh? It's a desert. Not quite. I see someone over there. It's a desert. It's supposed to be lifeless out here. Except for shrubs. And nomads, of course. So to east we go. Not very fast. I guess I could go southeast, because he said, because the nomad did say that it's to the south and a little bit to the east. So let's keep going this way. And there's another nomad camp if I wanted more directions, but eh, the other nomad camp gave me good enough instructions to where to go. So we'll just keep on looking until we find a large camp area. It's easy to spot once Must we see. Must here. Whoa. What? Must be an updraft here. Now we're at the edge of the world, so to speak. So I'm gonna go to this camp here. Maybe I need to go to west now. I don't know. I do not know. I'm just, you know, going around, looking, doing my best. So let's land on this one and see if they can give me a, a new directions on where to go. 
if I can land this. Like I said, landing this is not so easy. Yeah, got it. Hey, a camel. Cool. Stay here and guard the balloon. It's a dramatic. It's a dromedor, or however you pronounce it in English. I'm not really sure. It's got one hump only. That's what I mean. At least it seems to have just one hump, so it's a, it is a dromedor instead of a, uh, the, uh, the normal Hello camel there. that people know. Salam, Effendi. Salam Alaikum. Have you seen anyone digging around here? Well, I have seen foreigners with trucks and equipment. Did you see them where they went? Trucks? Equipment? Where? It's hard to remember. The desert all looks the same, you know? Yeah, it does. I know. What do you make of this map? Hmm. This X is a little to the south. And to the west. Aha. Uh -huh. Thanks for the information. So the west we go then. I can't go any more far away. I don't wanna talk to her. I wanna get the below. So I need to go to the west then. Go west life is peaceful there. Go west lots of Nazis there. Go west. Trying to find some clues. Go west. This is what we we're gonna do, or something like that. Yeah. My version. Very crappy. Enjoy. It's a good song, though. At least the original one. The Pet Shop Boys version. Eh, it's okay. But I do prefer the. Uh... Oh really? Ugh. Come on, game. This is like shooting fish in a freaking net. Keep missing all the time. So am I all the time in the edge of the world or something? Or is the map really that bad that even the nomads don't know where the heck I should go? Come on, come on, come on. Maybe you can help me. Stay here and guard the balloon. Once you get near to the place in the X on the map on the uh Hello there. On the overworld we're Salam, should appear. Once you well, get what do you close make enough. of this map. Hmm. You are very close to the site. Excellent. This X is slightly to the north. And slightly to the east. Slightly to the east. Thought so. Thanks for the information. All right. So it should appear on this quadrant where I am right now. We should be able to see the big red X. Ah, there it is. Told ya. Interesting spot right next to a mountain. What's a mountain on these uh, on the desert here? I guess these are the Atlas Mountains. I didn't know that there are actually mountains in. Actually, yeah, I've seen them lots of uh, war movies where they go to, where they go to the, uh, tennis, 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 tennis. Whoa! Guess we got too close. They're shooting us. <laughs> nice oh, shooting, Tex. Well, it was soft enough. Him too. Uh huh. Was soft enough, so we can. We survived, thanks to the uh, Nazi guy. Poor guy. But anyway, we found the dig site. Sure took me long enough. So next time we're gonna go into the dig site and see what we can find out there. But that is for next time. So thank you for watching. I know you wanna hit that. I know you wanna hit that like button. And I hope you all have a good evening, good afternoon, and a good morning, and I will see you all next time. Take care, people. Bye.